All right, so I pulled all my ring pinion bolts out, and my ring gear bolts, and um, pretty sure this should just break apart here. The yellow pry bar. Um, yep. Okay. Case is separating. These all look pretty good. Pretty sure what we do is we replace all of these gears. Let me go grab the box parts. Well, actually, before I do that, this stuff's all gonna get cleaned. I'm gonna take this all apart and clean it. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to turn the hot tank on and get this stuff cleaned up. All right, so we're going to put the power tracks locker in the differential. Um, start here with all our clean parts. Uh, which way does this go again? All right, so... Just put a little bit of gear oil on the back of this washer for the side gear. Make sure that's all lubed up. I'm going to start with our first locking piece. And yeah, all four of these gears are no longer used. I'm going to set that in there so that way it lines up. Um, I do have my little witness mark that I marked the ring gear so it all goes back together the same way. Um, next, I'm supposed to put, well, these ones don't need to be glued. So we're going to put springs in our spring holes. Um, there's actually a double spring, small one inside of a big one. And I just drop that one down in there and get that out. Um, and you got two pins that fit in there. And there's a thick washer that's going to go in place underneath this guy. Uh, next one is this piece um, to keep the springs in there when we tip it upside down to put it together. We're gonna put a dab of grease on the pins and on the springs. Again. Just a little bit of grease. We'll go right in that spring hole. Pin, we'll do the same thing. Those are basically gluing that together for me so I can flip it over. Uh, <clears throat> what we got to do here now is line a pin up with the spring from both ways. Uh, let's see here. Let it go. Stay together. Awesome. Make sure you're centered as possible. And you take your next thick washer, drop that in, and put again a little oil on the back side of this as a lubricant. Right. Get that 
the spin. That's really simple process. It actually looks like there's already that lines up with my mark. Yeah, there's actually arrows that keep the case together anyway. Um, so Now you can feel that it's spring loaded and as long as it goes all the way together and touches with your hand, you know that those pins are lined up enough and you're gonna be good to go. So next step's gonna be to throw a couple bolts and these do have locked washers on them but I'm gonna put a dab of thread locker on them also. I hope to never have to take this apart again. All right. Make sure ring gear lines back up where it did. You gotta be careful you don't knock those pins out until after you get these bolts in. Uh, let's get you started. Just fight me a little bit. Get lined up here. There we go. I just felt a drop. All right. All right. And then. As long as your case goes down tight, this pin should be perfect. Started a little more for an impact. There we go. Perfect. Dialed. Uh, All right, we'll get that ring gear seated tight. In there. Side gear is locked. Should be perfect. We'll uh, go through, put a little Loctite on all these, tighten these up to 120 foot pounds, and reassemble the rear end. I just cut that there but that's how simple it is you just replace these gears with the two collars and flat washers and a couple springs and pins and your open carrier is now a locker so how durable it is we'll find out when we get the s10 put together and start destroying tires i hope it doesn't break All right, so once you got all your ring bolts tightened back up and everything's put back together, what you wanna do is get in here with the screwdriver and just make sure that you can push down and feel that this is loose. Just making sure that you don't have those pins pinched. That's all there is to it. And then your open differential is now a posi. Uh, what will happen is in a no load situation going around a corner, the outside tire will be allowed to advance and the inside tire will become the drive wheel. But if you put any kind of load on it, both wheels will spin at the exact same speed. So they, they do make a little bit of a clicking noise in other models. I've never put one in a 10 and a half inch before. I've done them in eight and a halfs and seven and a halfs. And they do make a little bit of a clicking noise in parking lots and things, but for the most part, they're a cheap alternative to a expensive differential. So we'll uh, 
hopefully have this put back together in the spring and we'll do some definite testing to see how durable it actually is.